I'm Chris Herring. I'm interested in topology, in geometry. I love it. I just, I love it. I love the, the whole puzzle of it. I mean, some people do crosswords, they do Pokemon, they do whatever. I just do this. I mean, everyone knows that tables wobble and coffee gets spilt. And it's actually quite a, you know, puzzling little uh, mathematical problem to try and make four points kind of not wobble. This is not like, if you've, got, if you've got a tripod, it naturally sits down and it doesn't wobble. But as soon as you put the fourth point in there, you have the potential for it to wobble from one kind of tripod of support to the other. And um, that's something that I've kind of worked on inadvertently all my life. I didn't actually realise. I, I, I've got this theme that's gone through my life. It wasn't until after about 50 or 60 years of doing it, I kind of realised that's, <laughs> that's what I'm, I'm about. I'm kind of a, a hyperbolic paraboloidist. And um, that, that's how it is. I've been involved in geometry and it's been a, an interest of mine since I was a tiny kid. I lived in East Africa and we used to go down the Rift Valley and I used to carve hyperbolic paraboloids out of the pumice stone and I just, it was pretty, it was pretty kind of hands-on creative type of kid, making models and stuff and I, and I that's the way I grew up. I, I very much resist being pigeonholed and I mean some people think I'm an engineer, some people think I'm an architect, some people think I'm a naval architect but I'm just me. Actually qualified in art and design. I was a lecturer at a couple of universities. I just had this fascination with these shapes and the geometry. And I, didn't, I don't know why I did it, I just did it. And then I found that there's a lot of this geometry you can actually do stuff with, you know. And it's fascinating. And so for me, I started applying my geometry, my I, I'm not mathematical, I should add. I just, I'm intuitive and I, I understand, um, you know, close packing and I understand hyperbolic paraboloids and things like that. Can I show you some? Yeah. And we started a, a company, Annie and I, uh, way back, and we, we made hyperbolic paraboloids, quite big ones, and we did some big projects and we made these tents. Everything behind it is the same. It, it all comes down to the hyperbolic paraboloid, which is, and here's one, and that is made out of a series of straight lines. So you've got these straight lines, they're called straight line generators. And you get these beautiful curves and they're minimal curves. They're minim that is the minimal surface. It's like a soap film, you know, if you blow washing up liquid or suspend it in that. That's the shape it will take. And Annie and I combined our talents and skills to start some companies. So one of the last ones we started was No Rock. This very, you'd think, very different thing of tables was kind of rearing its head. And I, it was just like a bad itch that we had to get rid of, you know. It was just so, such a simple, banal, bloody thing that you get, you go to a cafe, you put your coffee down on your wine, and it goes click, clack. You go to Rome, you go to Florence, you go to Paris, then you go to Capo Strip in Frio. It's the same thing over and over. It goes click, clack, spill, spill, and it annoys crap out of me. And so I just had to do it. You know, I just, it was just like one of those little things, like you just had to itch it. We had the, the knowledge, if you like, how to do it, you know. <clears throat> so we're looking at pitch and the roll and the heave and all that. And, and most importantly, we're looking at the warp. Now the warp is articulation like that. But actually the tables is very, it's a very interesting little um, problem because we built in a certain asymmetry into the whole thing. It's not a two-dimensional solution. It's a three-dimensional solution. And one is kind of brought up with a two-dimensional mentality. You have architects, for example, always do uh, elevation, elevation and plan. So you've got the two elevations and plan view. And engineers, boats, naval architects, everyone, 
two elevations and a plan. Now if you're doing sculpture like I do sculpture, or, you know that was my main, that's what actually what I was lecturing in mainly. You think about things not in terms of an elevation, an elevation and a plan view, you think about things in 3D in a perspective, you think poof, like that, you know, you see the whole thing as one, as one thing in perspective and I need to show you something. This is a leg from the table and as you see it's not exactly symmetrical. It's got this devious geometry built into it. And what this does is one leg makes it lean on the next, the next, the next in a rotational order which adds to the stability of the whole table. I mean, it's, it's insane. It's a simple, simple answer. It's devious. Simple answer, but why not? <laughs> Are you recording that? Yes. <laughs>